Hello everyone, hope you're doing good. In this video, we are going to fix 100% disk usage. And trust me, you don't have to watch any other video to fix this problem. We will be doing very easy and very powerful steps to fix this problem. Please make sure you watch the whole video and we will be able to fix this issue together. Let's get started. So here in the start icon, just do a right click and then click on run. And in the run window, type services.msc. I'll maximize it. So after typing, just click on OK and a new window will appear like this. So here we are looking for two services and I'll tell you why we are disabling those two services. So the first is sysmain. So you just need to select any of the service and type S and then scroll it down and you will find sysmain. So sysmain earlier it used to be super fetch. Now what this service does is whatever the applications which you use very frequent, it makes it available for you. So even if you disable it, it doesn't make any changes to your computer. So just do a right click on that, go to properties and here from automatic to make it disable and then apply and then okay. Once this is done, do a right click and click on stop. So we have successfully disabled sysmain. Now the second service which we are going to disable is connected device platform service. Now even Microsoft doesn't know why they have created this service. There is not much information about this service that why exactly this service is required, but there are many users who face high disk usage because of this service. So for that, you just need to do a right click, go to properties, and from here, startup type, click disable, and then apply and then OK. Once this is done, do a right click and click on stop as well. So these are the two services we have disabled. Now we will move to the next step. And guys, if you have not liked or subscribed, please hit the like and subscribe. Now the next step is you need to click on this search icon and type file. So once you type file, you'll find file explorer, the best match. We will open that and we need to click on this PC. Now this steps, this these troubleshooting steps will work on Windows 11, Windows 10, or any other Windows for sure. So no worries about that. So once you find this window, the Windows Explorer, just do a right click on the C drive and then go to properties. And here we are looking for tools. Now in tools, there is an option called optimize and defrag. Now we are not going to defrag anything like SSD doesn't require defragmentation. We are just going to disable the automatic scan and schedule defragmentation. So we are not actually defragging it. So we need to stop this scheduled defragment. And from here I can see it is scheduled optimization is on. So here we need to click on change settings and run on schedule. I just have to uncheck that and then click on OK and then close. So in this manner, we have put off the load from the drives. It will not automatically scan for optimization, which actually creates high usage in disk. So once this is done, I'll just click on OK and I'll close this window. Now, once this is done, just do a right click on the start icon and click on task manager. And then we will go to startup tab. Now here in startup tab, we need to make sure only unwanted applications are disabled. So whatever the applications which you think that are unwanted, just do a right click on that and click on disable. So make sure you don't, please make sure that you do not disable graphics or Windows security or anything. Only the unwanted applications should be disabled. Now the last step is very important and most of us know that but we don't do it very often. So for that, we just need to click on search icon and click on Windows. And here you will find Windows Update Settings. Now this is a best practice. You should always update your Windows to the latest updates. But please make sure that you have all the latest updates in your computer. You can simply click on check for updates and install. It might restart, it might take some time, but any which ways it is good for the computer. So guys, let me know in the comment section if it has worked for you. And please hit the like and subscribe. Please support me. I really need your support, guys. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you in the next video.